Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. First things first, let's address the hair. I had a haircut yesterday, very, very short, but kind of liking it. My hair always sulks a little bit when I first get it cut. Um, so this side has gone kind of wavy and this side has gone super curly, but we're just gonna ignore that because no matter how many times I go over it, it's not gonna improve the situation. So yeah, short ado, let me know down below what you're thinking. It was getting quite long actually. If you watched my last video, um, it had grown really, really quickly. Um, I'm really liking the short hair. I do sometimes look back at old photos of me or videos of me with longer hair and think, oh, it was so nice. But it just, my hair's too fine. It's too flat for like super long hair. I haven't got super lovely, thick, luscious hair. So when it's longer, it kind of looks a bit straggly. So shorter just kind of thickens it up a bit. Anyway, this video is not about my hair, funnily enough. Today I'm going to do my whole winter summer wardrobe swap over at the start of winter i put all of my summer clothes in the loft and at the start of summer i put all the winter clothes in the loft i did a swap over thing i've always done it i think i inherited this idea from my mum she's always done it the loft is our clothes storage space so I've packaged all my winter clothes away at the beginning of summer and now in the UK, I mean it's October, it's raining every day for about two weeks now and I've been wearing this outfit for about four days because this is the only jumper I have in my wardrobe at the moment. Just a disclaimer as well, whatever I don't keep from my wardrobe today, I either give to other family members or friends or I do don donate them to charity. So nothing here is going to be thrown in the bin, that is not how we roll, it all gets reused Reloved, um, and obviously with my job I do have a lot of clothes so just to say yes I do know about the impact of fashion on the environment every single thing that I get rid of in this video will be rehomed to someone that will keep them for probably as long as I have so yeah just to let you know let's go up in the loft and get my winter clothes down oh this is the worst part because the loft is spider heaven and I just don't like it up there so come with me I guess got my little loft stool oh. how creepy is this loft ah oh, that's better okay so we're having some work done in the loft but um so this section isn't finished so I have to kind of Climb over here. And this down here is where I keep all of my winter clothes. I have quite a trek to get to it. And um, yeah, we've got a massive, massive loft in this house, which we're so lucky to have. Um, right, that's, there's two jumpers in this one. <laughs> two jumpers in one bag. More winter clothes up here than I thought, which always happens. So I do need a massive clear out. So luckily I'm doing this job today. So I'm now just gonna throw these down this hole and hope for the best. If anyone else wants to come and sort this out, then please let me know. <laughs> well, what have I started? I swear every time I do this, I put up one bag and this many come down. <laughs> okay, so I have all of the bags here and I'm just gonna start going through them and tidy in what I want and what I don't want. So yeah, gonna pop you guys on a tripod and let's get going. Oh, got a hole in my sock now as well. Got up in the loft and something always breaks. <laughs> Okay, so first few piles, I've got my don't want pile, my want pile, and then a little try on pile just behind here as well. Um, I thought I'd show you just a few bits from each pile as I go. I'm not gonna talk about every single item because we will be here all day. From the don't want pile, I have this jumper. I just don't think I'm gonna wear it. I wore it a few times last year. 
um, and I posted some photos in it, but I think it's just quite a bit bright for me now. Um, it's a really nice jumper, it's really oversized and long, so you can wear it with like leggings and feel cosy around the house, but I just don't think the colours suit me as much now, especially with my different hair. Um, and I just don't think I'll wear it, so hopefully someone else will get some better wear out of that. I've got this little neck dress, again I love this dress but I don't know, I've worn it a few times now, I haven't got the greatest memories of this dress and I just don't feel like it's something I grabbed for in my wardrobe. Same with this grey one. And then from the keep pile, mostly kind of cosy, cosy jumpers that I can't part with. So I've got this cardigan from Primark. Um, I don't think I've ever worn this, but it just looks so snuggly and I really like the colour, so I'm keeping that one. I've got a few like little kind of round the house jumpers. These are my like working from home jumpers. Um, I really like those. Again, this is just one of those jumpers that I can throw on and go out in. It's really soft. This jumper is my life. Um, leopard print jumper. It's really old now, but I just can't part with it. It's so good just to kind of pop on with a pair of jeans. Tap is broken, drip, 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 drip. Dirty dishes in the sink. We've been laying here for weeks, weeks, weeks. We're not talking anymore. It's like we're scared of trying. So different from when we started off. No, we're just like, think it's time to call it quit. Think it's time to Okay, so over here I have like a pile of coats and um, I've got one in here as well. I don't think I'm going to deal with coats right now. So I'm going to pop them all back in here. Some of them like this one, I absolutely love this coat. It's got like all flowers over it. It's from Miss Selfridge. It's basically like a massive puffer coat. So really I only need this one for like when it snows or when it's really cold. It's kind of still a bit mild. So what I might do is I might just get one down, leave one downstairs just for more kind of chilly rainy days like today and put these back in the loft just for now, but just so they're kind of accessible because I just don't think I need them down yet and they're gonna take up loads and loads of room in my wardrobe. So at the moment, this is my keep pile, this is my try on pile and this is my giveaway pile. I think I need to reduce this by quite a lot. This is my hanging area and I'm gonna sort through this now. So I'm gonna take all of the kind of really summery things out of here. Like this yellow dress, I'm not going to be able to wear this in winter, it's a very summery dress. I've got some trousers and skirts again that I'm not going to be able to wear when it kind of gets a bit chilly. So they're all going to get put into these bags which will then in turn go up in the loft and hopefully that will make enough room for all this stuff to go in there. I've folded one thing so far, this was the other day, I was like that is summery, I'm going to fold it up to help myself. And I've just also found this in here as well, salted caramel sauce um, in my wardrobe so that can go over here because that does not need to be in my wardrobe. So sad I didn't get to wear this this year. Such a pretty dress. I just didn't go anywhere to wear it. So I'm going to keep that one though because I think I will wear that. Loving you was such a bliss. going to put this up in a loft this kind of silky dress but then I thought actually even though it's kind of strappy and summery I could wear this with like a chunky jumper underneath because obviously silk kind of skirts are like really on trend at the moment so I'm actually going to hang this one back up and keep this one out so that might make me be able to wear it a little bit more than putting it back in the loft I've got like this kind of um, where is it this kind of jumper, yes, I love that. I think that would look really cute together. So yeah, I'm gonna keep those down. Oh, 
Right, onto the drawers. I'm not gonna do a wardrobe tour because I've actually already kind of done something similar. I'll leave that linked at the end of the video or down below. This section is usually empty. But actually at the moment I've been hanging my clothes and my outfits that I'm wanting to shoot for my Instagram up there. So that's why that looks like a bit of a mess and I've just got a few bits and bobs here that I've got to sort out. But that's going to be for another day because I've already got a lot to do. So I've got some drawers here. This one is like t-shirts and kind of vest tops, basically tops that I wear. Um, obviously some of them are quite summery. This little top is like a silvery metallic top. I can't throw it away because I wore it on mine and Chris's first date. So I have to keep this one. I haven't worn it since. Um, I don't know why because I actually quite like it, but I have to keep it. Okay, so this drawer is much better now. These need to go in these bags for the loft. These are just ones that are kind of too summery to wear now, I think. I'm still looking at them thinking, is that black and white stripey one too summery? But they can go in the loft. So yeah, get in there. loads of spare hangers so I'm just gonna go through some of the bits down here um, and just hang up the stuff that I know I will want on hangers like this dress for instance I probably wouldn't fold this up I'd prefer that to be on a hanger I've got this little gingham shirt dress from monkey love this shirt dress I actually do wear this quite a lot with black tights in winter and um, it's got a few holes in it I think somewhere Maybe, I don't know actually, it might not. Um, but yeah, I love this. It's just a really handy little dress to wear like when I'm travelling somewhere or whatever. I've got this little skirt, which I love. It's really, really handy. This is from Nasty Gal. The buttons do pop open a little bit, but look, how cute is that? So I'm going to hang that up. Um, I've got one. I've got one little skirt hanger here, so I'm just going to pop that up. <laughs> Have this many hangers left over how amazing is that but also it looks so full because everything's jumpers okay so now I just have a few jumpers to try on so I'm just gonna quickly do that I wore this gingham jacket once I just don't think it's very me maybe I'll put this in my summer stuff <laughs> so this is the problem when I don't want something I put it in my summer stuff deal with it in summer okay next up to try on I have this little top shop jumper um, it's really fluffy and really snuggly. Oh, and I like to put it on. I just love the colour. When I bought this, I had dark hair, so I'm not sure if the colour goes with blonde hair. Hmm. I think I'll keep this just because of the way it feels. It's so soft. So that can go in my keep pile. And I've got this jumper, also from Topshop. This is a grey fluffy one. I don't know why I buy these fluffy ones because they always end up in my maybe pile. I'm not so sure about this one. Nah. I've just popped on my Topshop mum jeans. I'm going to keep these. I've chucked these jeans away. I love the detailing on the bottom. These are from Topshop, um, not Topshop, Tesco, but they're just too small around the waist. They fit, but I'll never wear them. So I'm going to keep these because I think these look kind of cute and you can never have enough black slash grey Jeans, I'm just going to try on these three pairs here. So I've got these culottes. I'm not sure about these. Like they're so comfortable, but because they're culottes, they show your ankle off. I might keep these ones because I feel like the colour is quite cool with winter winter clothes. And I think maybe with like 
chunky boots like dms or something they might look quite cute so these are the leopard print ones i think i might have to give these ones away now i just feel like the, the print is a bit garish on me and it reminds me of some pajamas that i have um yeah i think even with the jumper i'm not feeling these anymore so these are going to go in my giveaway pile it's getting a bit dark outside now because it's been raining all day so it's gonna be hard for you to see these they're kind of like a dark blue kind of color I think my mum got me these in the sale actually from M&S, they're jeggings, they're really comfortable so I think I'm going to keep these, I haven't worn them yet because I think she got me them just as the weather turned into summer, they feel a bit stiff at the moment but I think it's because I haven't worn them. These are empty, these two top bags so I'm just going to fill those with the stuff to give away so that that's kind of contained, I usually give it to my mum and she kind of gives it out to people um, and these grey ones are going to go back up in the loft um, as well as these pink ones which are coats and I don't feel like I need them down here just yet. I'm thinking about doing the same thing like putting your summer clothes away somewhere whether you have a loft if you don't have a loft maybe under your bed in boxes would be a good idea but if you do have a loft then these bags are great you can't fill them too much because the handles break I think I got these from like B&M or Home Bargains or something um, I do need to get some more because some of the handles have ripped off but they are great because getting boxes up in the loft is so difficult. Um, these don't stack as well as boxes, I admit, but because they're bags, they're lighter to begin with, whereas I feel like boxes are already heavy. So yeah, just a little tip if you are thinking about decantering your summer slash winter wardrobe at any point. I feel like, for me personally, I love getting rid of my summer stuff out of the wardrobe when it's winter and vice versa. It kind of stops me thinking like, oh, I wish I could wear that, but it's not sunny, it's not warm. And I know that everything in these wardrobes are stuff that I can wear in this weather. Also, if we were to like book a holiday or go abroad or anywhere, I know that all my stuff is in the bags in the loft so I can just go up there and get it. So for me, it's always worked. I've done this for my whole life, pretty much. It takes a day to sort it out, I guess, but you know, if you're organized then, and not filming, then it will take less. And now I have to put it all back up in the loft. <laughs> okay, so this is my wardrobe finished. We'll ignore that. So this is the hanging section of my wardrobe. It looks really drab now that all the summer clothes have gone. It's a lot of gray and black. It makes me realize I need to inject some color into my wardrobe. However, I have got quite a bit of color in these drawers. So that makes me feel a little bit better. But yeah, so I've got, I mean, I color coordinate it. So I've got beiges, grays, blacks, and then I've got one coat that I've kept down just for days like today. So what did I keep? I kept a lot of these kind of jumpers. They just go with everything. This one is, just literally a cream roll neck chunky jumper but these just look really cute with jeans so I kept that I'm a big fan of like big chunky cardigans so I kept a lot of those um, I've got a grey one I've got a um, beigey creamy one I kept my multicoloured jumper I actually fished this neon knit out of the giveaway pile just because I feel like I needed a bit of colour in there and I actually feel like this is quite a flattering colour even though it's neon um, so yeah, so a lot of it is just basics. Um, these are actually new. My mum picked these up for me from Primark the other day. I've got a black one and a grey one. And again, these are just really handy, like basics to wear every day. Um, I can't put them back in now. And then in my drawers, oh my God, in my drawers. T-shirts, I've still got a lot of T-shirts because to be honest, I feel like t-shirts you can wear in winter still with the jumper on. So I've kept a lot of them down. Um, I've obviously put away like the floral summery ones. I've got this little purple one. This polka dot one is great little t-shirt. I've got this one with the detailing here. A lot of white t-shirts and a lot of, <laughs> a pile of black t-shirts as well and jumpers and bits and bobs. These are my cozy pajamas from M&S. They're so comfortable. This I've had for years. I can't part with it. I don't wear it a lot, but um, I can't part with it, it's from Topshop. Then just some like little finer knits. I've got my little vest tops because I wear them under jumpers, like what I've got on today, I've got a little vest top under it. And then here we've got like my little cozy, longer t-shirts that I can wear with my leggings around the house and bits and bobs like that. So this is kind of the same, and um, there's a few little changes in there. And then my jeans, 
I actually have space for more, but I'm not gonna buy more because I don't need them. So I've got kind of blue jeans here. These are quite light ones for winter, but they're more like my wear around the house because they're really comfy jeans. I don't really go out in them a lot. Um, I've got these ones, then I've got all my grey and black jeans here, and then I've got darker blues here. And then here I've got those clots that I kept, some leggings and some trousers, and then I've got these kind of, I mean these are amazing, they're like wax look jeans from Next, and they're so comfortable. So I've popped in them in there, and then I've got some black cords from Bershka. So they're in there got a hole in my sock as well from the loft <laughs> and then in here this is not the best drawer ever it didn't really fit that well and um, but it's basically all of my kind of cozier jumpers so I like to wear jumpers a lot around the house these ones are my absolute favorite these are from Primark I wear these all the time and um, this is from ASOS I can't part with this because it's so warm and snuggly and um, yeah these are just basically just jumpers that I wear around the house to be honest I have quite a lot but I work from home so I do wear a lot of jumpers around the house and um, I've got a few here that are nicer jumpers I kept these because I think they're cute um, and then my gym kit and exercise stuff is in there hopefully that will come out again one day soon I don't know about that though and yeah so down here I have bags to be honest I could have put these straw ones up in the loft but I'll just do that another day I forgot about those so that's for another day so I'm looking a bit haggard now my hair's my hair's just gone a bit funny um but yeah I have officially put my winter stuff in my wardrobe if we get a weird kind of October heat wave in the UK I'm gonna be angry but I doubt it so yeah I really hope you enjoyed this video it was very different for me I've never done like a wardrobe clear out video ever before on this channel like I said I Instagram storied about it and you guys seemed really interested in it so I like watching them but it's different when you're filming your own one so if you did like this video make sure you give it a nice big thumbs up to let me know and if you're not already hit the subscribe button because I'm sure there'll be many more of these videos on the way because I always get asked about my lipstick and I can never remember what one I'm wearing today I'm wearing Brave by MAC kind of come off a little bit now but yeah love it so thanks for watching guys have a lovely day whatever you're up to and i'll see you again very soon for another video